Greetings, Earthlings. It's Shane with Oddball Cards. It is July 8th. We have a very special episode today. A crossover, if you will. Kind of like uh, how Happy Days to Joni Loves Chachi. Or, I don't know, some, some weird Brady Bunch episode where a, a clearly superior channel, Intercontinental Cards, has challenged me to a dance-off. We did not, in this day and age of cards uh, and scarcity, we found some common ground. Mine happened to be seven hobby packs. I vote that I'm immediately disqualified if I get an autograph because uh, he had a blaster box. I am clearly inferior. I took the challenge. I hopped in my time portal. I went back to the 1960 to do some sock hop. Uh, didn't quite fit. I went into an unknown future, into the Star Wars Cantina. And then finally I visited my pitiful 7th grade self, dancing to uh, post-disco 80s music. I cried a little bit, watching me try to flirt with girls. And uh, so, without further ado, we are seeing who has the best card. And we are seeing who pulls the oddest card. So, again, my autograph should disqualify me. Please check out Intercontinental Cards. He has high-quality videos, great commentary, pretty much everything this channel does not have. So, this is the throwback style. There's a nice Aaron Judge insert. I don't think it will win me any contests, but we will try to enjoy some cards along the way. There's a... A rookie. I'm a rookie fanatic, not just a fan, a fanatic. I am hiding the cards off screen so that Chris from Canada's OCD is not tripped. I have called upon the power of the panda. Wise Greg Maddox, a very comfortable looking Bartolo. This symbolizes the new partnership with Intercontinental Cards. He is the new guard. Oddball is a slow, flat footed old guard. Gary Carter, there's a Cody Bellinger. The base set of these, really cool looking. Hey, twinsies. I, if you haven't watched his video, I think he pulled that same card. So, I am at a loss. I will lose to a clearly superior opponent, but I am gonna get my groove on. If I were a better editor, I was listening to some DJ Jazzy Jeff and the Fresh Prince. To get myself in the mood. Some 90s, very bubblegummy music. Carlton Fisk, a, as this channel is known for, the fairly anonymous rookie, Jake Cave. There is a good omen for me, for those of you that are regular listeners. Chris from Canada's Spirit Animal. There's a nice looking Ronald Acuna. We're just going to, not only am I losing by being a, uh, inferior human being to intercontinental cards, but I'm losing in cards. We'll at least have some fun along the way. Another fairly anonymous rookie. 2019, especially archives, is full of the big four. I am not optimistic about our chances, but I do like the collaboration. I had to stretch for about three hours just to get this little bit of boogie going that that you see going on now. Can't even speak. Pump myself up with some chicken nuggets. Perhaps the ketchup on them is giving me some indigestion. I won't use that as an excuse, but I'm just giving you a live look at our dance off here. I am clearly losing. We are having fun seeing these nice inserts. Something uh, if even a year ago me heard you saying he might spit on you. I didn't like inserts because they were not very valuable, but I am, especially with the opening cards on a channel, plus uh, not just being able to drive down and get cards anytime I want. Look, another fairly anonymous rookie. It has helped me appreciate that. Now this one's interesting. I don't see, uh, okay, never mind. The uh, it looked like something was missing there, but it, I think Ichiru, I thought it was a missing team name, but there's the the team name there. It's a nice looking Ichiro card though. Oh, I see now. It's an archives. All right. Not a winner card, but a personal 
favorite of mine, Ichiro. Saw him play in Seattle. I don't remember the year. I want to say 01-ish, but my memory is not what it used to be. All right, we have two packs left. Intercontinental cards, thank you for your youthful spirit and the challenge. This is Oddball. Is a, this is, it must be like the baseball card gods. No, this is a Oddball personal break. Nate Lau and Byron Buxton are some of my favorites. And then keeping in the spirit of the fairly anonymous rookies. Well, there we go. Our first big hit. Cover up Bartolo. All right. And a Griffin Canning. I think that's another kind of tie card. We have one pack left. Intercontinental, intercontinental. There we go. How many times can it's like a tongue twister for oddball cards? It's a great channel. Please check him out. He is having some sort of giveaway. So oddball will have to come up with some sort of giveaway. I will probably... Give away one of my cards, my oddball cards. My odd gallery has been getting pretty big here. Uh, and would love to pay forward some of the odd cards. Not the ones that are, are gifts per se, but some of the ones I have collected. So I want to thank Intercontinental Cards. I don't have to look very hard. He had some fancy editing. I am clearly the loser here, but he has asked that you comment on his channel, Intercontinental Cards. I believe it's who won your favorite European player and your favorite oddball card. So, in mine, let's do uh, something similar. Let's do your favorite, uh, who you think won. I think he won. Let's say your favorite Tampa Bay Rays player. I have read the, I think it's called 3%. It's a very good book on Moneyball and the Rays. And then let's do it. Let's do your favorite oddball card. Thank you very much for watching. Please watch that superior channel, Intercontinental Cards. And as always, oddball out.